Ultra Reality Smash Bros is one of Mr. Beast's most requested projects for him to do. If you don't know what Ultra Reality Smash Bros is, it is essentially a virtual reality world that you can enter physically and transform into one of many Smash Bros characters. Think of it as if SAO became real and it was Smash Bros themed, minus the dystopian aspects of course. Dream Newcomer number 15 is going to be Rascal from the game known as Rollin' Rascal. Rascal is the 40th predicted newcomer in the server, meaning there are now exactly a hundred characters in UR. Do not worry though guys, as I plan to continue making character prediction videos up until Mr. Beast actually announces UR. Meaning there will be most likely more than a hundred characters. In fact, Dream Newcomer number 16 has already been decided. You will see their silhouette at the end of the video as usual, so if you would like to guess who it is, be sure to watch until the end of the video. But regardless guys, in this video I will be talking about Rascal from Rollin' Rascal joining Mr. Beasts. Ultra Reality Smash Bros Server. I first heard of this game after YouTuber Attacking Toucans played the Kickstarter demo for Roland Rascal on his Y2Can second channel. I will mention both Tyler's main channel and Y2Can channel in the description of the video, much like I did with JJ in the Kyoko video. Judging by Tyler's Roland Rascal video, this game clearly has a bright future. And since Super Smash Bros. is all about celebrating gaming's greatest, why not have Mr. Beast add Roland Rascal to Ultra Reality Smash Bros. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy. Here is a list of all predicted newcomers so far, just for reference. Also, shout out to Attacking Toucans for giving me the idea to add Rascal to UR. Let's start by talking about Rascal in his original game before we get into the Smash related stuff. Roland Rascal is a 3D platformer made by a company called Curiomatic. It began as a Kickstarter project, the developers keeping their expectations low. However, that was clearly a waste of negative energy as Roland Rascal amassed over $200,000 on Kickstarter before they even released a full playable demo. In the game, you play as Rascal in a 3D platforming adventure inspired by Sonic Adventure. Thanks to Curiomatic reaching one of the push goals, you can also play as Rascal's girlfriend, QT. As with most 3D platformers, the main villain of the game is made very clear from the very beginning, as they were teased in a commercial that was posted on Curiomatic's official YouTube channel. Back in 2019, I was heavily interested in indie platformers. I thought the idea of supporting a person who is essentially a starving artist in the gaming industry who was also very brilliant at making games was a very charitable thing to do. I was inspired to do this by Sonic Mania and how T. Lopez actually has a song he composed in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This idea of making it when you were previously just another video game fan really inspired me and because of this, in 2019, I downloaded a little game on the Switch eShop called Freedom Planet. I thought it was a good idea to do so I could support someone who, like myself, wants to be more than just another video game fan. Because of my mindset during this time period, I heavily associate 2019 with indie platformers. Roland Rascal may have released just a few months ago, but it honestly takes me back to 2019 and how I was heavily interested in indie platformers and I was just starting to bud as a video game fan. I will admit guys, back in 2019 my taste in games was nowhere near as good as it is now, but the trade off of this mental simplicity is the sense of wonder when I play a recent release that reminds me of that time period. If you want to experience that same feeling, Roland Rascal is available on the Nintendo Switch eShop. Now, getting into the Smash related stuff, Roland Rascal already has a ton of moveset potential, even though his game hasn't been fully released yet. His down air would be like Simon and Richter's down air, which is basically Sonic's down air, except with different hitbox physics. People who have played as both characters in Ultimate will know what I am referring to. And while Rascal won't be as fast as Sonic for obvious reasons, he will be one of the top 10 fastest characters in Mr. Beast's Ultra Reality Smash Bros. server. 
His stage would need to be Buccaneers Beach, as not only is it the first true level in his game, but the music that plays on that stage sounds phenomenal. Honestly, I could see a lot of people wanting to become Rascal in Mr. Beast's Ultra Reality Smash Bros. server, specifically people who love indie platformers. I want there to be plenty of options in UR for every type of gamer, so that way it can feel like a bunch of people with a wide array of interest groups coming together and celebrating video games as I believe video games can unite the entire world. As for the 100th YouTuber to get their own team, I was thinking it could be Croton, a Zelda YouTuber who a lot of my friends watch fairly regularly. He's been gaining a lot of popularity recently, and I want him to be in a collaboration with a bunch of other YouTube greats, hosted by the main man himself, Mr. Beast. I named Croton's team the Dragon's Tears. I won't spoil what it's a reference to, but if you've played Tears of the Kingdom, you know exactly what cutscene it is referencing. Here is a list of all predicted YouTuber teams so far. Screenshot this if you want for future reference. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I believe Roland Rascal has a very bright future. I want Mr. Beast to take the initiative with adding this character to UR as I want the UR server to showcase not just gaming's past, but the future as well. It is every man's desire to change the future. If Mr. Beast can find the true Rascal, the future is ours. And there you go. That is why Rascal from Roland Rascal should join Mr. Beast's Ultra Reality Smash Bros. server. Rascal is now the 40th predicted newcomer in the server and the 100th character overall. Do not worry though, guys. As we speak, more characters are on their way to join the server. If you have any suggestions for characters I should add, be sure to leave them in the comments. Dream Newcomer number 16 is up next. I won't spoil who it is. All I will say is that it is a female character that I could see being Bayonetta's daughter, much like how people say Joker is Bayonetta's son. You'll see her silhouette in just a few seconds. So if you have any guesses as to who she is, please leave them in the comments. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, and as always, stay chill, everyone. Get ready for the next battle.